So I've got the motor put back together and I've loaded it in the truck. It's pretty heavy. It's um, yeah, 120 pounds or something like that. It's pretty much as much as I can lift. But I've got it loaded in the truck. So that's what it looks like when it's put back together. You can see here the drive shaft, the motor end cap, the uh, main section of the motor, the commutator, commutator end, end cap, and tail shaft. So now the important number to know is uh, how far that drive shaft sticks out from the faceplate. So we'll have to take a measurement here uh, to see exactly how long it is so that the motor can be spaced out appropriately from the transmission. Now another thing about this motor is that it's actually pretty big, so something that's important is to make sure that the motor will actually fit into the Metro. So uh, let's take some measurements and really hope. So here's the motor and where we're going to be measuring from is this surface right here. That's the smooth side that the motor is going to mount directly into from the adapter plate. So right here, that's where we're going to take our start measurement from. Now as I pull this out, I can see it's uh, just just under 14 inches to the end of the cap. It's about 15 inches to the end of the cast iron piece here. And it's right about 18 inches to the very end of the tail shaft over here. Now here's the engine compartment of the Geo Metro. So let's take a look inside, see how those measurements work out. Okay, so now what we have here is the, um, the engine in this car was originally right about here and the transmission was over here. Uh, and these are the, uh, the shafts that connect the transmission into the, uh, onto the wheels, it's front wheel drive. So I know that the front end of the transmission was right about here and it faced this way, the engine was here. So I need to measure from roughly here, this way, and I found that that's about um, 16 inches to here and 18 inches to here. Now this is hollow, so if I had to I could potentially drill a hole right here Otherwise, I could cut the, uh, uh, that tail shaft off of the motor as well uh, to make it fit. But as it is, it looks like it's probably going to be really close. I'm either going to have to drill a hole or cut that tail shaft off. Okay, I just called up the machinist. Uh, he's available, and I'm going to go over there with the motor, and we're going to take the measurement for the distance between the motor and the adapter plate so we can make everything the right length. Uh, so over at the machinist, we uh, put the adapter plate onto the motor, then we stood the motor up on end and set the transmission on top of it to see how the, uh, uh, the two shafts would line up and how much space uh, there's going to be between them. Uh, as you can see, right now the shafts overlap. We have too much space. What That space you see there is how far we would have to space the motor out from the adapter plate. And we decided what would look the best, be sturdy, and work well all around is to shorten the shafts uh, to make them fit uh, without having to use any spacers otherwise. That's it. <laughs> that was fast. Still smoking. <laughs> Do not touch that with fingers. The uh, drive shaft on the motor is a little bit too long for what we need for it to uh, couple up against the transmission, so we're gonna take a little bit of it off. Um, Jim, how much are we taking off there? About a half an inch. We're gonna take about half an inch of it off with this uh, big saw we got down here. Old grease is bubbling out from inside the shaft because it's so hot. Networked. <laughs> that o ring melted off. <laughs> The, uh, apparently that O-ring was originally for keeping oil in the uh, differential on a forklift this originally went into and uh, I don't think we need that anymore. <laughs> no, there we go.
We'll use this end. Are any of those splines skunked up a little bit? Or? No. They're perfect. Okay. So all far their goals are, see they start to come out of the... Oh, okay, gotcha. So it only goes so far and I wanted to see, but this okay. won't fit over that. Right. It only goes to the... Not where we should be playing with it. Just swim in the ocean, stand on a monkey, fly in a tiny airplane, and try to burn this end. Burn this end. The other end, I like the way it's better, anyways.